Hi, people have been having trouble with the paper dolls cartridges and design space and this is quite understandable if you have used either other mach Cricut machines or if you don't know how to work them. Now I'm going to go into the everyday paper dolls because this is the one someone asked about and you will find that there is lots of paper dolls that are all dressed. The problem arises when you have a paper doll that isn't dressed or when you want to put in the clothes. So what I will do is I will click this little paper doll just to show you that she will come in and she will be totally dressed and you can ungroup her and put her in. But this one will come in differently and we will take this paper doll, we will now these are tabbed clothes right so if you want the tabbed clothes you can bring these in with tabbed clothes so this one's not tabbed so i'll bring in a pair of trousers and i'll bring in a little shirt so we're going to insert all these and if you know your design space you'll realize that everything will have imported in at approximately two and a half inches now this little doll here which you can see is highlighted because these are gray over here and it's the bath time girl paper doll. Now if we ungroup her, we will be able to take off the towel and all the bits and pieces and that is what cuts, right? So I'm just going to undo all that now so that she all goes back together again and when I click on her you'll see that she's actually grouped again with that. Now this paper doll is has come in again at two and a half inches same size little doll right we'll put them under there and you can see it's about the same size but the clothes have come in at two and a half inches now this on the older machines would be called real dial size and it's the problem that a lot of people had even with the old machines they couldn't work out how to make, to make the doll now I've forgotten to put the hair on him as well so um, what you have to do now is you have to either make the doll to fit the clothes or the clothes to fit the doll. Now if you're working with tabbed clothes, um, you've got to work out how big you want your doll. So um, I think you had your doll at 6 inches, so we're going to put them in at a height of 6 inches. And if we put them in at a height of 6 inches, now, now we've got to figure out whether his clothes fit. So if we're going to put the clothes up here, Oh, excuse my hiccups. Um, we're going to have to bring them to the front. So we go arrange and bring to the front. And now we're going to know that that looks a little bit big. So we now have to manually alter our clothes to fit the little doll. Unless we've got the... Um, unless we just happen to bring them in at the right size. Now here's a little pair of trousers and you can see that they're probably going to be a bit big for him um, we'll move them to the front again and again yes they are a little bit big um, we might have to make them a little bit smaller and maybe even smaller again so that they fit on him and if you want to see what he's going to look like you'd need to bring the shirt to the front and there's your little doll all dressed. Now, if we're going to take these across here. Now, if you were just going to have the little trousers on him, you might want the trousers to be a little bit bigger because when we put them on him, they weren't actually covering his tummy. So, with design space, you can actually adjust that. You can adjust them width-wise. I haven't unlocked this to distort them. I've done them relative size to what they are um, but that gives you a good idea of, of what they're going to be like now this particular one has tabs and again I'll bring it to the front so that we can have a look at it now the tabs are the old fashioned paper dolls where we put tabs on the back now this one here you'll see you'll need to bring it up and bring them down so that they cover his feet and the little tabs would go over the back so you've got to allow it so that it's wide enough now sometimes you don't want them quite that low 
because you only just want them to cover their feet and you're going to bring it here so you could unlock this and actually drag it a little bit sideways so that it's a little bit wider if you want to and so that the tabs actually do go over the back because sometimes those tabs are not quite in the right place for what we want now I hope that's helped because when we size this little doll now this little doll remember we sized to six inches but if we size this little doll to six inches I'll show you what happens now this little doll is six inches but the actual doll in it is not six inches the total height is six inches so be very careful that you don't bring in a fully dressed paper doll at six inches and then think she's going to be the same size as a paper doll at six inches because that is six inches this is six inches dressed so because she's got the hair and the hat on she's going to be a smaller paper doll and if we take all her clothes off um, each one would be different but we'll go back to the layers and ungroup her and you'll be able to see ooh, she's naked as a little paper doll in itself she's actually not six inches at all she is six inches fully closed she's five inches or just fractionally over five inches so that does make a very very big difference when you're working with paper dolls so i hope this has helped and i hope you can now dress your paper dolls if you don't want them dressed as they are now if we go back to the cartridge which i had open and hopefully it's not going to take too long come on you're taking a long time um, a lot of these are just clothes but these little dolls come in fully dressed and you'll find that there's little bits of road and grass no problem but remembering when you bring these in it's the height of these just the same as before and it'll bring it in at a real dial size height now you've got all your bits and pieces there and hopefully you've got your hair somewhere down the bottom because that was one of the things that I um, there's your little faces that you can overlay your faces remember also that you can um, take your little faces off and if you if it hasn't got a little plain face in here then just weld something onto it and all the facial features will disappear but you can see down here you're getting into just the clothes uh, I oh yes here's a hair here you've got to understand what you're looking at when you you're looking at some of these pieces this is here and I know that these other bits of here somewhere they don't all seem to be grouped in the same place so you've got to find the bits that you want but hopefully when you go through this now it will make a lot more sense to you and I thank you for watching